Hello everyone, welcome to the Gamer Game Show, I'm Dustin Weekly, and holy crap, we got a trailer for Bethesda's new Fallout title, Fallout 76, and boy is there a lot to go through in this breakdown, so let's stop wasting our time and get started. So we start off with the classic Fallout trailer trope of the zoom out. We see a very, very old Pip Boy, one of the oldest Pip Boys we've ever seen, with John Denver's classic Almost Heaven, West Virginia playing in the background. This is really close to my heart since I live in West Virginia. It gives me chills every time. Now, is this Bethesda possibly telling us where the game's going to be set? Will it be set in the wild and the wonderful? Well, actually, maybe. At the beginning, we get to see the classic Please Stand By title card, but something's different. As opposed to past iterations, this one actually has color. And what colors do we see? Blue, yellow, and red. All these colors we see also on the West Virginia flag, and also West Virginia is a huge college sports state, and what color are the Mountaineers? They're blue and gold. Yeah, I know, it might be a stretch. The Pip-Boy reads October 27th, 2102 at 634. I'm assuming that's AM, which actually will be very important later in the trailer. There is an Unstoppables magazine on the end table, which in previous games gave you a 1% chance to avoid all damage if you happen to collect one. As we zoom out some more, we get some pretty mixed signals here. Clearly, it's a child's room with the space monkey toys under the bed and a lad's life book also under the bed. But we also see adult golf clubs in the corner, a fedora on the bed, and an adult-sized backpack on the bed as well. Also, there's solo cups and a party hat indicating that maybe there was a party and some heavy drinking going on in that room, which is something a child wouldn't do. Well, not a good child anyway. But what does it mean? Well... I think our protagonist could have just gotten really drunk and passed out in an empty bed. But that's not actually what I think. Since the adult things like the golf club seem to be in a more permanent feature in the room, I'm thinking our protagonist may have lost a son and was sad that he wouldn't be able to celebrate leaving the vault with his son, so he passed out drunk and sad in his son's old bed. But more on that later. On to the next part of the trailer. Like the breeze, country roads, take but when the fighting is stopped, the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. I belong. Okay, so the game board on the table is an unstoppable shindig board game, which I could not find anything about in Fallout lore. But there is a beer bottle next to it that says Oak Howard Lager, and I think this is just a little wink, a little clever Easter egg, hinting at Fallout's developer Todd Howard. Pretty neat. We also see a mascot head, which may be a much more cleaned up version of the mascot head that you can acquire in Fallout 4, but probably not, since that mascot head in Fallout 4 is based off of a real Boston school, and yeah, that theory's debunked, but it was fun to think about. But here's the real bread and butter. There's a bunch of awards in a glass case. Some of them are just silly jokes like Best Looking Hair Award, Vault Hall Monitor Award, or this one with the toilet on it. I don't, I don't even really want to know what that one was for. However, it's these other ones that really catch my eye. The Outstanding Achievement Award, which says, An appreciation for your commitment and dedication of our program, sacrificing many so that some can live. Ugh, like, whoa, I'm not, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's pretty dark. And then there is the Excellence and Bravery plaque, which I couldn't make out completely, but we got in recognition of the blank, 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 you went above blank, which I assume is above and beyond, and then we are grateful to you. Couldn't really make it out with the zooming and enhancing. It's not like the CSI show. And then there's a first place trophy on top. So to me, it looks like maybe this vault is doing a social experiment on its residents, where everything is positively reinforced and everyone gets prizes, and then they send you out into the real world to die or something. 
We all know that Vault Tech likes to screw around with people living in their vaults. And you'll see later on in the trailer all the unnecessary parties and invites and decorations that show up. Anyway, on to the last part. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads, take me home, take me home, country roads. In Vault 76, our future begins. We get an invitation to something. It's definitely an invitation to the Re- Reclamation Day party. There, I said it right. Earlier, when you heard the president on TV say, For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout is settled, you must rebuild. It makes you think that these vault dwellers were meant to go back out into the real world someday and rebuild it. And I think we are actually watching the day that all of them left the vault. To go back to my drunk sad parent theory, you can tell this party has already happened and the vault is empty, and then you look at our protagonist, Pip-Boy. It's now 6.41. It's five minutes past his alarm. He's woken up late from a night of sorrowful drinking to an empty vault. Everybody just left him. And then we get this interesting wire that looks like it's sewn into the vault tech suit, possibly a battery cable for the old outdated Pip-Boy maybe. I'm not really sure. Okay, now it's time to speculate on the story. Okay, so this game is set in 2102. That's the same year when a man known by the name Richard Gray is knocked into a vat of forced evolutionary virus, which turns him into a horrifying monster. And you may have heard of him before. He's also known as the Unity or the Master. He was a bad guy in the first Fallout game, and he basically wanted to mutate the entire human race into the perfect race to survive this post-apocalyptic world. So what did he do? He made an army of super mutants. So the plot line for Fallout 76, in my more than likely totally wrong opinion, could be that the Master has an army of super mutants out in the wasteland, and you wake up late on your reclamation (laughs) reclamation day, and all of your fellow vault dwellers just leave you behind to go outside and be slaughtered by an army of super mutants. And then your goal is to go after the Master. Yeah. It's a very flimsy theory, but you know, it's all I got to work with right now. So that was my breakdown of the new Fallout 76 trailer. Let me know what your theories are down in the comments below, and please point out everything that I missed. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you down in the comments.